Well, with me now, Ben Mason. Ben, of course, we've seen you do your video diary in terms of a young player trying to make it with AFC Wimbledon. We've seen you win the Richmond run as part of the academy too, and we've seen you win a league title. But how does this compare in terms of signing your first pro deal with the Dons now? Uh, I'd have to say it's probably probably tops it. Um, I mean, this is something like I've jumped up ever since I kind of started walking, started running, obviously started kicking a ball. Um, but obviously, as as the years have gone on, it's it's got a bit more real, a bit more kind of achievable. And um, so yeah, to today to finally be able to kind of say I'm a professional footballer, and for the first time is yeah is is amazing and something that will probably take a take a while to sink in. Yeah. Great stuff. Let's just go through your story as well, though, of course, because I mean, there's there's this Ascot, there's coaches that have influenced you in yeah. terms of your journey. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah. So started Ascot when I was when I was five, I think, in a kind of a soccer school. Um, and then yeah, my, my dad was my coach until up until under tens when I came came on trial first and then got signed obviously at Wimbledon. Um, so I say he's obviously a big influence and lots of my mum and my brother as well. Um, then yeah, more more in Wimbledon people like um, Rob Tuvey. He was he was my first coach. So he was my first coach um, when I first came on trial and first got signed. And um, yeah, for him to be here today, kind of. Seven eight years later, and um, being my coach when I'm a f first being a professional footballer, yeah, it's amazing. And people like James Oliver Pierce, um, obviously, last year, um, kind of the journey we all went on, and yeah, played a massive part in that. And my development as a player, people like my Jack Matthews, um, yeah, more I could I could go on for for ages naming people at this club that have helped me. Um, yeah, like I said, I'd be all there. Absolutely. The fans, of course, have already got a good idea of how you play in terms of your game, but those who perhaps don't know, tell us a little bit more about your strengths. Yeah, um, so I'd, I'd probably say I'm, first of all, like, I'm a very hard worker. Um, I'll always kind of give my all um, for the badge, and yeah, I think um, I get up and back as well. Um, first of all, I'm a defender, and that's what I love doing um, like tackles, winning the ball, it's a massive part of my game, winning headers, stuff like that. And then also last year, kind of worked on more of the attacking side as well. Kind of when I can, try and like to get forward. Got goals and assists last year as well, um, which has been great. Yeah, stuff like crossing and stuff like that to to help with assists and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, on and off the ball, uh, I like to think. Yeah, I'm, 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 yeah, good, good on and off the ball, and um, yeah, just give everything for the for the club really. But there is versatility to your game, but what's your kind of favourite position along yeah, the back line? Um, my favourite position is right back, um, but over the last few years I've played either kind of right centre back of a three, I played right wing back, right wing back, um, played on the left side as well um, a few times and done well there. So yeah, I'd say I'm quite versatile, but yeah, my, my main position is uh, right back. I know we've spoken about it already, but I think we've got to talk about it again, the achievement of last season, yeah. the first captain of... Uh, Getting an AFC Wimbledon side to a league yeah. title has it has it really sunk into you now over the over the uh, the period of the summer? Yeah, I mean, it's probably a few months ago now, but nice. No, it's, it's still something to kind of think about, and yes, it was amazing and to be that group of lads and be able to lead them, and that's something that is a massive part of my game. So try and help the team as much as possible, whether it's communication or leading by example, stuff like that is is a uh, massive massive for me, and yeah, to be able to kind of do that successfully last year and um, yeah, the achievements we got is yeah amazing and something I'll remember forever. And it's caught the eye of course of the Republic of Ireland, the youth set up as well, is that's still something that figures in your plans, yeah if you can. Yeah, uh, it was great to obviously get a call up last year. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a goal this season, um, to try and be involved there and hopefully kinda of make my full appearance for them. Um, so yeah, that's that's something I'm working towards every day. And um, hopefully, kind of with hard work and giving everything I can, then yeah, uh, I don't see why. Hopefully, I'll be able to make that happen. You've got the whole family down here today as well. They must yeah. be very proud. Tell us about the link to Ireland. How did it come about? Yeah. Um, so my mum, both her parents are born in Ireland, kind of raised in Ireland, um, came over here, and yeah, she was brought up kind of Irish, really. Even though she was kind of born here, my granddad and stuff is obviously really proud and. Yeah, that's kind of one of the main things that kind of drives me on stuff like that. So, yeah, hopefully more more opportunities to come to to make them proud and stuff like that. Absolutely. So moving it forward now, of course, how have you found working with Johnny Jackson in terms of your first nice. pre-season? It's, it's been good to obviously work with, 
with, with Johnny, Terry and I see lots of running, stuff like that as as, as you uh, as you guess what happened in pre-season. Um, so now it's been tough, high intensity games and obviously testing myself against obviously some really good players in that team. Um, it's been good for myself to kind of learn, constantly learn from every day and um, yeah it's obviously been great. Some of the points that you get from obviously the coaches just can help massively. Yeah. And the defenders this club's already produced, of course, Will Nightingale, yeah. Paul Callumby. Have they been helping set, get you to settle? Yeah, it? definitely. I think Will has been massive. Like even last year or the year before, um, whenever I've trained um, with the first team, he's always been so welcoming. Kind of made me feel at ease. Anything like any tips or anything like that, he'll, he'll definitely give me. And he's someone when I first joined the club, was kind of just making himself kind of a staple figure in the team, and to now be kind of trained with him is yeah amazing. And, I yeah, just need to learn as much as I can out of, out of all the players, really. Fantastic. So for goals for the coming season, I mean, obviously there's probably going to be a loan spell that figures yeah. in it, but what, what kind of goals have you got next? Yeah, well, with, with a loan spell, I just want to get as many senior games, um, senior games as possible, um, make the biggest like, positive impact I can. Um, and yeah, it'd be, great to, it'd be great to hopefully play some part, like make a debut, obviously, um, at some part of the season. And yeah, also like like you touched on earlier, just with the island, try and do that as well. Um, so yeah, it should be hopefully a good season, uh, exciting, and yeah, a lot of hard work as well. It's a big day for you, but it's also a big day for three other players as well: yeah. Ethan Sutcliffe, yeah. Josh Hallard, Marcel Campbell. You know them all very well as yeah, being yeah. the captain. Yeah. What kind of players are we getting in them? Uh, Ethan, a uh, very good centre back, uh, very good in the air. Also likes to drive out a lot, and uh, he's he's good at that. Um, Josh, obviously a left back, gets up and back really well. His crossings, his crossing is really good as well. Uh, good attribute. And then Marcel, kind of more of a number ten. Yeah, really good on the ball. Lots of assists and scored a lot of good goals last year as well. So, yeah, it's definitely exciting. Well, it's fantastic news. Um, it's great that everybody, of course, will have seen your story over the years. Yeah. Being a part of AFC Wimbledon's academy, Ben Mason has signed his first professional contract with AFC Wimbledon. Yeah. Congratulations, Ben. Thank